Hey guys, welcome to the Movie Minute number 11, which is probably going to be the last Movie Minute because we're going to call it something else after this episode, but that's a whole other story. Of course, this is our small piece of the internet where we take a moment to ramble about some movies. And now our main rambler, I introduce to you, the Rambling Malengo. Whoa, I didn't do it right. It's good. It's good, Mike. That's what, that works. Just keep it so going. So the challenge is going to be, can I do that every week? <laughs> so, and Malengo Akbo Zombie is with us. I'm going to work for, fix your shot here while we're at it here. Oh. But how you doing? It's been a while since we've gotten together, sir. It has. A lot of stuff's happened. Mm-hmm. But, you know, and now it's like freezing negative something degrees and cold. and Which will be very appropriate considering some of the movies that we're talking about. And, of course, yeah. with us on the line from the Bronx, New York, Mad the Mike, Bronx. who usually joins us from the Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, Mad Mike 4883 on the Twitters. How you doing tonight, sir? I am frozen, sir. Oh, <laughs> really? Zing. Uh, really? Uh, yes. Uh, I know you got some movies you want to talk about, but we'll get into that. Malengo, what's up first? All right, let's just let's just plow through this stuff quick. All right, <laughs> we got so much. It's it's it's, it's the New Year's catch up show, yeah, right? A, well, it's it's kind of a catch up show, but we'll let's just go. Let's go into all it. All right, all right. So this week, right in the lineup, we basically had uh, the top three movies: Frozen, which. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is making money, but we'll we'll talk more about that. Uh, the marked ones, which is the sixth rendition. That was like the fourth. Is, is it fourth? I think I it's the fourth. fourth. Is it fourth? Yeah. Yeah. Paranormal Activity continues to make movies that somehow make them money. It, Although it's was... so cheap, it's like a it's like a college student's movie. Well, that this is, is the... making millions of dollars. I don't think they made their money back though. This is the worst. What? This has been the worst. Uh, like. This is the worst one for them. They yeah. thought like the Hispanic group would come out and like all come see their movie. And apparently, they're like, "No, yeah. we're we're not going to go to that." Hey, you know, Christmas coming up. And yeah, I was just right? gonna say, who would guess that in the time of Christmas and gift giving, you would want to see a movie about people getting their eyes ripped out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the Hobbit, the Hobbit uh, two. The Desa, I'm gonna mess up the word. I tell you what, man, I was so of Smog. not God. into going to the theater to see that one. Oh. I read the book and I don't care. You know, I mean, I was like, <laughs> I watched all the movies, I read man. the Hobbit, and then like the first one came out, I just didn't even care, man. I had the opposite effect. I wanted nothing to do with this movie. I was like, it's stupid. I have to wait for possibly a three and four, mm-hmm. just because. Somebody likes filming in New Zealand. It no. And I, so let's just wait for the big, yeah, the big edition, and and it's going to be like ten hours long, considering how the first three movies exactly. went, and, and we have the extended editions of them that are like three hours a piece. But if, I, I gave if in. It, if you can read the book in less time than it would take you to watch <laughs> it does, the it extended does. editions of the movies. I understand. <laughs> but I do understand. If you're diehard Tolkien, oh, if you man. read the – I screw it up. The Scamillion? Scamillion. Something. Oh, man. Here comes the hate mail. Um, but they, <laughs> Direct that to Mike. <laughs> so at Sorgatron on Twitter, of course, uh, SorgatronMedia.com. Um, but no, it, it, I guess they do wrap in some extra stuff. Like, they added elements from that book and added it onto the story of the first book. Yeah, I mean, I didn't read the books. No. I just watched the cartoon. Yeah. The cartoon movie. <laughs> Which is not a basis for <laughs> yeah. any of this stuff. But that was enough to get me interested. Okay. And, I mean, okay. they added a lot more stuff than they had in the cartoon. So, I mean, that was... It was... I will say... I did not want to go see it, and seeing it, it's better than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> so that's a thumbs so, up in your book, right? I give, that, yeah. That is a night not wasted. Uh, I watch way too many movies. <laughs> that's why we have this show. All right, let's run down this new stuff. So okay. Empire, Empire.com put out their list of 100 movies that we should all see this year. A hundred freaking movies. <laughs> Do I see a hundred movies in a year? I know you probably see three hundred. I I don't but... know if I see that many movies in a year. I was trying to like movies. do the math. That is a lot. The list is flawed though. The first ten movies already came out. Yeah, yeah. They they have what Paranel 
the paranormal activity we're just talking about. Yeah. They got Last Vegas. Isn't this last year's stuff? Last Vegas yeah. is not even in theaters anymore. Delivery Man. I mean, this, <laughs> like you can't see it. If this you is, want is this to. for 2014 or it's 2013? It's for 2014. What the hell? Wolf of Wall fun. Street. Okay. Um, Twelve Years a Slave. That was from last year too. It's all Grudge last Match year. Came Grudge out Match. Christmas. The, yeah. Uh, so it should be restated as the top ninety or eighty five. Ninety ish, give or take. I don't know. You know? I, I'm not sure about that. Uh, if you haven't seen, and if you haven't, if you're not following on Twitter, I think I I posted this tweet. But uh, the Muppets Most Wanted just put out an awesome promo ad. Which one? I, I've seen a couple of them, but I, I, I've seen. Does, I've seen. Wait, wait. I've seen the uh, the short they did with uh, uh, Ramsey, Chef Ramsey. Oh, I haven't seen that, that one. That one was I amazing. Uh, but this they've been doing was, a lot of stuff, right? Well, yeah. This was was the one with uh, the tweets. Okay. So they're they're showing the clips, and then they just have random tweets. Like someone says, oh, this comes out on my birthday. I'm definitely going to see this. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love they, they're doing really, The Muppets are doing really good about, about incorporating all the social media. And they're all over YouTube. And, you know, and... and they're just they're just completely on top of it. They've been doing stuff with Chris Hardwick's Nerdist channel. Uh, they've been doing some great stuff with uh, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, um, it's I and I'm so excited. The Muppets have like found a new thing, and here's the video. It looks like right. This, yeah. This is this, so. This is just like like a review trailer, but it's for people who haven't seen the movie yet, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the movie hasn't come out, but it's just like random people that are like tweeting about this, and they do the movie voice over top of it. Uh, it's freaking hilarious. That's it, great. You have to find it I if, love if you it. can. I love awesome. It. <laughs> I'm going to skip over this next. Well, no. I'm not going to skip over it because it makes me angry. Paul Blurt, Mall Cop sequel. That got approved. Can you believe that? All right, I'm going to skip over that. Moving on. How is Kevin, how is Kevin James still allowed to make movies that don't have Adam Sandler? I don't. I don't know. That should kind of be like taboo, right? Maybe he has to like go in and kiss Adam. Like, Sandler's are like, segways even still a thing? Uh, <laughs> Can you still actually buy them? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't feel like well, you, you can. guys know. I, I there's a segway. They have a segway at at, at our our local mall. Oh. And I do have a video of a guy wearing my Google Glass riding around on a Segway. I thought it was the perfect nexus of questionable technology. <laughs> I loved it. It was perfect. And, and, no, the, and the day if, where I bought my new iPhone, too. If nice. he had a virtual boy in his back pocket, that would have been perfect. Oh, my God, yes. What if? Oh, man. If only. And if he was listening to music on his Zune. <laughs> Well, so we got Malenko. Uh Stan Lee is going to appear in uh, Agents of Shield. Good, because he's Stan Lee's in everything. It makes sense. Stan Lee's in the freaking Spider-Man cartoon. It makes sense. I hope Stan Lee is the villain of the week. Stan Lee was in an episode <laughs> of Chuck. Awesome. I, I just finished off Chuck uh, a couple was weeks he? ago. He was in one of the later episodes. I'm not going to spoil it because it's a pretty cool little <laughs> thing they do with him. Hmm. I think my kid brother told me. Yeah, Stan just, Lee was also like, in Heroes. Heroes. He was in what? Heroes. He was in Heroes. I can't remember what I he was, but I, I don't. I don't doubt you on that. Was that like in the uh, the last episodes where half the audience kind of gave up on Heroes? Yeah, that's a problem. That last season, I didn't. I, I didn't push through on. I don't even know what season. I quit during the circus season. That's the last season. Was that the last season? Oh man. Yeah, yeah. I kind of lost it. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, look at Frozen. So Frozen, you know, that happened. <laughs> What's a, okay? Well, I, I, now, now, Mike watched Frozen. I think he's into it though. He's doing a little yeah. dance here. Um, I love Frozen. You love Frozen. I love, I love Frozen. Frozen. It, give me, give me your honest review. Like, I loved it. You okay. loved it. It blew you away. It was the best thing no. of the year. Best animation of the year. No, it wasn't the best movie. I mean, of the it year, wasn't. But it wasn't like Pixar best, level, right? I would say it's the best anime movie I saw this year. Hmm. Okay. It was the best anime movie I saw this year. That's, I'd say that. That's saying something. And the what? soundtrack was amazing. That's compared to Monsters Inc. and and what? Like I, I, Monsters Inc. was not that have, strong. Really? Yep. I mean, it, yeah. Um, Monsters University was was okay. Yeah. But yeah, that's the one we're talking about. Yeah, Despicable Me too was pretty good too. But I yeah, honestly I've, think I liked Frozen better. I so, liked Despicable Me too. That had a lot of grown up humor. Saw that uh, saw that over Christmas and it was a riot. I even loved all the mini movies they had with it. So the thing for me with this movie was that. It looked really nice, but I'm biased to that because I went to school for that That's stuff. That's your thing. You're a 3D animator. So looking at the movie visually, I was like, 
this is freaking awesome. It does. Like it looks really good. The the particles of the snow, like the way she moves, the interaction of the, the animation was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And then after the movie, I kind of sat there and said, "What was the point of this movie?" Was it was it you just telling me like the it, like the story didn't really have a point to it? It had no point to the point that the I personally think besides the visual, the best part of the movie was the snowman who comes in almost 40 or it's 50 like, minutes It's like the little nut the rodent from Ice Age, right? Yeah. When he came in, that's the first time I laughed. I, like, forgot I was watching a Disney movie. What, what is, uh, give me the, what is this movie about? I, I like, because I don't know if, it's like, there's a princess, there's snow, and there's a snowman. That's all I know. Uh, it's bad parodying. Uh, <laughs> like, like, well, okay, there is a lot of bad parenting here. Yeah. Okay, it's like all right. The girl has There's a, a lot flaw. Of bad parenting the I'll grant you that. The girl has a flaw, so they lock her in a room to tell her not but, to touch anything. Can you think of a Disney movie that doesn't have bad parenting in it? I mean, that's kind of that is kind of. I mean, the point Lion of King, yeah. Cinderella, yeah. Beauty um, and the Beast. Lion uh, King Toy didn't Story, have, for Christ's sake. Toy Story had some interesting parenting decisions. <laughs> <laughs> We've never seen Andy's dad. That's We've true. We've never seen Andy's dad That's or true. his other mom. One or the other. That's never more questionable than Muppet Babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Frozen's basically two kids trying to figure out their parents screw up. You know, two sisters who you know have been separated. One was locked in a room because she can basically bring havoc by touching stuff and the other girl who has way too much free time and uh must be nice to be a princess and then they <laughs> well, throw the some guys in there. too so yeah the parents the parent death was hilarious i mean what let me rephrase that <laughs> man you got some you got some you got some, some issues. issues at home don't you <laughs> holy shit yeah wait, 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 we haven't said shit this is the first time i've seen you since you became a freaking daddy i know seriously right yeah oh, that that? so much oh, i know right now you're <laughs> like freaking <laughs> de parent that's hilarious to me now Oh uh, no! I just like the way they kind of just wrote it in as let's just go over a over over a wave and then that's it. <laughs> we fade into the sunset. Parents are dead. Yay! Anyway, I don't know. Ultimately, <laughs> like I don't, I don't know what to tell people with this movie. I think in my review that I wrote up, I said to go see it, but uh, when I asked the question, would I see it again? I said, um. Probably not. I would have to be like persuaded. <laughs> like, do I have to pay you money? Yeah. I, I don't. I, yeah, you would have to take me out on? to a nice meal. You know, kind of, kind of like, I gotta take you to Morgan Steakhouse me. first, yeah. or? or trick me somehow. Be like, yeah, we're going to see The Hobbit. Oh wait, no, it's Frozen. It's still. It did well. Seven week oh, lead in the gosh. in the. I, but is that just like there's not much else going on? Well, it's not it's not a straight seven week lead. It's that they came back and talked. Oh, it. okay. So the Hobbit was on top for a while. Okay. And it it literally like just retook the lead after seven weeks. And it's still pulling strong. Compared to other Disney movies, I mean it's it's making a lot of money. Good. So Good. it's got a lot of rewatch value and the soundtrack is amazing. Like it was more of a musical than I and, thought it was. Yeah. But I kinda dug it. Well, when's the last time? Like Disney's had a lot of flops. I think the last good one they handled, of course, was Wrecking Ralph. Planes was a flop. Um, mm -hmm. Well, Planes. <laughs> there's that. That was very bad marketing. We'll yeah. just go with that. Yeah. So, I mean, that's... Wrecking Ralph was... I like that. Oh, I mean, it was a that really was, good movie. That was a good one. I, yeah. Wrecking Ralph was the Roger Rabbit of video games. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. I'd say that. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, the soundtrack... I mean, the soundtrack has topped the billboard charts and they said that the last time a disney movie did that i believe was aladdin mm -hmm. so and that was like 96 i think so i think a lot yeah aladdin was no and aladdin was 92 was 92 yeah. i think it was aladdin i can't i might be wrong with that so if i'm wrong let me know but yeah i mean for me in you know being in the industry and looking like you know liking this industry i think this is good i think it's good for disney that they're doing stuff that is better than the uh 
New Orleans movie that they put out with the first Black Princess. Oh, yeah. Okay. With the talking frog. That was just a weird movie. But, you know, whatever. Princess and the Frog? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was it the pr- yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it was. I but, didn't even see that one. Yeah. Uh, hey, we, uh, we've been ignoring the chat. We're at it. This is our first show back in 2014. We've been ignoring the chat, and Chachi lets us know about it. Uh, but we have some stuff oh, in Chachi. here. Uh, one, they're telling us to stop going to split screen. I don't know why. I don't. I think it's kind of cool myself. They don't like split screen? They don't like the split screen, I guess. Um... Yeah, he says, he says, yeah, he watched 15 movies last week, but then again, he watches movies like all day at work. So, Well, yeah. I mean, 100 movies isn't that bad, not that bad but no. do they all have to be new movies? Because I have a whole lot of DVDs, and I've watched them a yeah, lot of times, yeah, so I probably yeah. watch 100, 100 like, movies, upwards of 500 movies a year. 100 movies going yeah. to the theater? Mm, but you got to think, anything out now, you're going to get by DVD, and maybe even on Netflix by the end of the year. Well, you right. got to think of, like, uh, if a big movie comes out every weekend, and you just round, I don't know, four weekends in a month. Mm-hmm. Well, you're only looking at roughly 48 to 56 movies or 52, whatever. You know, it's Anyways, the math. I think the more glaring error that we made on this show is the fact that the Virtual Boy will not fit in your back pocket. Yeah, well. I thought about that, but I figured, no, let's just go with this, with this <laughs> idea. I knew that, but you could still have it hang out. It wouldn't fit comfortably. But. No, no. I mean, it would look funny if it was actually happening, so, you know. If you were on a Segway listening to a Zune with a Google Ooh, Glass on, are you really concerned Zoom. about looking funny? Maybe if the guy was wearing some tactical pants. He could completely fit a game, uh, Virtual Boy in there. Maybe he's bagging sag and berry from all that. Moving on, Lego. <laughs> Moving on. Hey, all right, let's, <laughs> please. So let's just let's just round out the big picture for Disney, right? Now all that right. they own Pixar, Marvel, Lucas Films, right? You should think, and of course their own Disney. You should yeah, think yeah. that they're rolling in cash. Right. They did not top the year, the highest uh, with the highest box office grossing number. I believe it though. Is that crazy it, though? Because I think I think. Um, while they do great and their merchandising's great, and they haven't really kicked in full gear with Star Wars, Marvel's just kind of getting up to speed. Yep. Um, you're noticing by some of the licensing thing that's been happening with video games for Marvel and comic books for Star Wars, if you've been t- paying attention to the news. So they haven't absorbed all that yet, technically. Yeah. But also... 2015 is going to be a scary year. Also, they have been good with live action. And let's face it, if people are going to the box office, it's live action movies. It's the superhero movies. So they haven't gotten everything off of the superhero craze yet. Mm. They've had two movies under their banner. Has it been two? Well, no. I think Avengers, it's only Avengers. been... Well, no, because they, they had Iron Man 3, too. Did, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, 3. Avengers, right, Iron Man 3, and about. Thor The Dark World. Yeah. Yeah, and they also had Monsters University. Under the Disney banner. Yeah. Right. So, uh, planes, I mean, um, a, uh, Lone Ranger. So the live action well, has been doing well. Those aren't the ones that like pulled in the money. They're really? top. Yeah, they're top because ones. Because you're talking Iron, about licensing with with all the kids and everything. Yeah. Iron Man, Monsters University, Frozen, Thor brought them four point seven three billion, and Warner Brothers topped them with The Hobbit, Man of Steel, and Gravity. Gravity blew everything away. Anyway, nobody expected mm-hmm. it to do that Wait, well. I, I think I think no matter how the, the problem with uh, the superhero, DC superheroes, is they've been so mistreated. And that's why they were unable to get something that, that had such a flurry of interest like they've done with Avengers. Because yeah. they're just so mishandled. Now you have Man of Steel that was, I think, handled properly, at least better than it has been in the last 20 years, as most of their properties. Yeah. It wasn't you agree- clearly didn't watch Smallville. <laughs> we're talking big, but we're talking box office. That's the, the we're talking you the movie. Could have made Smallville right? a movie. Yeah, I, and I agree. I think they should have. I really. Think you, they I have. mean, if like they have a, a comic that came out for season eleven of Smallville. Yeah, if yeah. they translated what they wanted to do with that into a movie on your it, on your recommendation. Infinitely better than Man of Steel. I, I did read the, fir- uh, the at least the first volume of that, and I, I was really enjoying that. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, to check that out. Then. It, yeah, it's, it's it's at your local library in the Ooh, Pittsburgh area. Yeah. That's where I got it from. Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I don't understand the formula for Superman, mm-hmm. <laughs> but somehow they keep making like they keep making them, and people keep showing up for them, and they're gonna keep making them because it's timeless. That's a, how old is that character? Oh, timeless. So you have blah, blah, you have blah, blah. the kids are now getting interested in Superman. You have the kid, the 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 adult, their parents that watch the the Christopher Reeve Superman. You got the old fogies that remember black and white Superman. If they're still around, um, it, it, 
it's, Superman just celebrated 75th year anniversary. You have uh, 75 years of buildup of fandom uh, for and, that. And one movie they did right. Yeah. So if, they don't have to do a ton right in order to make money at this thing. hand up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's do the uh, quick reviews, or my uh, reviews for the rest of these movies. Frozen, like I said, um, it's good. I'd say go see it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to hold strong by it. I'm not like you got to go to the theaters and see this on the big screen. Mm-hmm. I I think you can see it in any form you want. If you really want to see it in theaters, do it. If you want to kind of wait around in Netflix for something to come in the mail. Hey, if you're Netflixing, remember all your Disney movies are going to be there next year. Yeah. If you're if you're a fan of if you're a fan of like old school Disney movies like Lion King, Little Mermaid, stuff like that, go see Frozen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Absolutely go see Frozen. It because saddens it's, me that, that Lion King is old school. Yeah, isn't that weird? Whoa. Are we it, old? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're old. I don't know, Dad. Ah, yeah, we're old. Saving Lion King to... was over 15 years ago. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. is. Actually, it's 2014. It was 20 years ago. I do I do have copies of Aladdin and Lion King for the Sega Genesis over there, so I guess that does age them. Man. Um, <laughs> you know what's sad, Mike? I definitely saw a lot more movies than the three that I'm about to give reviews on. Oh, good. Uh, Saving Mr. Banks. I saw that. That's the other big Disney one. And I have Link. Mike, Mike, Mike did, too. You saw that, yes. Mike? Well, give yeah, your was... review first. What do you think uh, of it? I had no interest in Mary Poppins at all. <laughs> like, I've never seen Mary Poppins. I think I may have caught a bit of it when I was a child, and it put me asleep instantly. Yeah. But, I mean, it's a Disney movie with Tom Hanks' Walt Disney. I'm going to be interested in that, regardless of what it's about. And it was really, really good. I like, just yeah. fantastic. I agree. I the, the scary thing was... Watching the movie made me actually want to see Mary Poppins. I got as, <laughs> I got as close as like the intro, and I was like, "No, I'm I'm good. I'm, that's all I need to see." Spoonful, spoonful. Wait, what's the first song in there? Is it Spoonful of Sugar? I I didn't even I didn't even get that. I literally just got to the, the Disney inch, like logo, and I was like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't want to sing it because we'll completely get pulled off of YouTube if I sing it." <laughs> I, I um, they show. also sang "Let's Go Fly a Kite" in like. A scene in the movie, like, because the movie sucked me in. Yeah. And when they started singing Let's Go Fly a Kite, there was a little bit of dust in the theater. A little bit of dust. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to say I cried, but I teared <laughs> up a little bit. It is, it is something. It, I, it, and I know for me, it, it's definitely something I watched in my childhood. So I think I think I would be taken in by this this movie. Yeah. I mean, I, it, was a, it was a good, well-written story. I also did a solo of the Chimney Sweep song. Back oh in high my! Once, so, <laughs> so much. So like, it's kind of it's kind of got me right there. Can we find those videos? Actually, I, I just heard that tape might be pretty easy to surface oh, uh, over the last couple weeks. So, I'm excited now. There you go. That's why we should, we'll do an old school. We should, we should have that that'll as the intro throw, for the next. That'll one. be your throwback Thursday. I'll try to get that thing on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I did nothing in my childhood. <laughs> and did you see the um, the footage after the credits? Yeah, of the. Of the of, real pictures, yeah, yeah, the real pictures and the actual tape recording nice. that they had during their meetings. It was so so cool. Yeah, I mean, it's a movie that I feel like is very underrated, and I feel like if people have any interest in that story, or even the the stuff behind the story, they should definitely check it out. Um, I, I give it a lot more credit than than what it is. Than what most people probably perceive it is. It didn't do strong in the in the theaters, though. It, I think it barely came in at fifty or sixty million. But I mean, regardless, if you can see this movie and you have any interest in that kind of stuff, it's a it's a well, very well written story. Good movie. And the imagery of Tom Hanks as Walt Disney walking around Disneyland, yeah, is it's magical. Like like Disney magic doesn't come around that often. That is Disney magic. Definitely. So, hey, Mike. Uh, so I guess we're going to wrap this thing up, right? So uh, time. this week in theaters. There, there I am. There I am. This week in theaters. What's going on? This week in theaters. Her. Now, this is a movie that I'm told that I should be checking out. What is this movie about? This is uh, Phoenix. Uh, basically, 
I believe I believe his wife dies, but it's in the it's in the future where the technology is so advanced that it can talk to us at a somewhat personable level. So he's having a commu- like a relationship. They, they said this is like this is like this movie's about Siri or something. It wasn't yeah, like the he's basically I was gonna say, isn't this like Mars and the I real girl or something? <laughs> basically. Basically, yeah. Okay. There's a lot of weird interest in this movie. I don't I don't know if I'm on board with it, but who knows? I might be bored one weekend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lone Survivor. I actually saw this one already. Okay. You saw it you saw it early? Yeah. Go see it. What is it? Go see it. Mark what is Mark. It? <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. It's a it's a war movie, right? It's a war movie based on yeah. a mission that went horribly wrong. It's basically the yeah. next uh Black Hawk Down. Oh really? Yeah, it. I have mixed emotions about it, but I'm not gonna air them out on this show. <laughs> so all oh, I will say is, that's for. I think I have a friend with the show. You can air that out on. <laughs> all I will say is, uh, go see it. It's, it's right. pretty good. And uh, the Legend of Hercules, which has zero percent right now. Not a zero percent. They have no ratings. Okay. But based on the preview, I did have free passes to this movie. And I chose to give them away. Now, you pointed out something interesting, that there is another Hercules movie coming up this year. Is there another Hercules I thought, movie? Wait, yes. wait, or maybe, no, rock. Mike was. I'm sorry, Mike pointed that out. Who yeah. did Because I was looking at the, the list of the 90 or so movies you need to see in 2014. And um, there's another one coming out in October with The Rock. What? Yep. Because <laughs> when, I, when I kept seeing the preview for this Hercules movie that's coming out this week, I'm like, wait, I thought The Rock was doing Hercules. And I thought that they were still filming. Like, it seemed very odd to me, but then apparently they're just coming out with two different Hercules movies in the same year. If somebody sees this movie and tells me, honestly tells me, this is worth seeing, I might see it. (laughs) But just on the preview, it looks like jocks who have nothing better to do with their time, and it looks really bad. It looked like 300 or Attack of the Titans or Clash of the Titans. Oh, yeah, totally a Clash of the Titans with a wannabe of 300. Oh, uh, it's bad. I The preview alone made me gag. But anyway, hey, that's this week in movies. So, yeah. Mike, are you going to see any movies this weekend? Nope. I'm actually going to see Anchorman 2 this weekend. There you oh, go. you will enjoy Anchorman 2. Yes. Excellent. I'm not going to give my review on that, though. <laughs> I'm just going to say you'll enjoy it. There was some uh, points from the chat room. Uh, Chachi does want to point out that the internship and Percy Jackson were good movies. Huh. Yeah. They're, I, uh, I the love the Percy Jackson movies. Mm-hmm. I thought yeah, I thought it was okay. For mm-hmm. I wanted that guy to be the new Spider-Man so badly. Well, hey, that's all I got for this week. Yeah. All right. Uh, of course, you can check us out. Uh, uh, the, the show, of course, is up on YouTube. Uh, Ooh, did we start? I forget. YouTube. Did we start a new YouTube for this? I can't remember if we started that before we left. Uh, you can go. Oh, no. It should be on YouTube.com slash Sorgatron Media. You can find everything at SorgatronMedia.com. Whatever links are live by now uh, will be up there. Uh, and, uh, of course, we are on iTunes. I do know that, and we're on YouTube somewhere. Um, and it'll be a little confusing. Just go to Sorgatron Media, because we're going to be changing the name. We're going to be doing all this other stuff, but we we got plenty of new stuff coming up here for the new year, yep. and it's going to be a blast. And if there's a movie that you would want me to, to check out, maybe mm-hmm. draw a cartoon on or review, let us know, and I might do that. If it's a good movie. (laughs) (laughs) With that, we'll see you guys next week. Awesome. See you.